So a lot of kids these days are doing these Let's Play videos, but they're all terrible. So I decided it was up to me to show everyone how it's done. However, this presents a dilemma. Since I hate Let's Plays, therefore I've created something better that I will call Lang Plays. And that's what I'll be doing today, starting with a Lang Play of Sonic the Hedgehog. A lot of people believe this game was made on drugs, but I beg to differ. I believe it was made on computers. There are, there are way too many fucking flowers in this zone. 30 seconds, that's some bullshit. You know, Robotnik is my kind of guy. He knows how to get shit done. A bunch of filthy animals running around and he puts them in their place, makes them useful. There's obviously people living on South Island, so he's making things better for everyone. Wait a minute, if Sonic is 16 years old in 1991, doesn't that technically make him an 80s kid? I mean, he's gonna be an adult in two years, so that really shits all over his status as a 90s icon. I don't think that many kids back then would have been all that invested in the game where Sonic fills out his W4 forms and registers to vote. Then again, I doubt Sonic is that responsible as a citizen, since he's one of those rebellious anarchist teens with a bad attitude. But I'm, I'm sure it's not his fault, though. He probably grew up in a broken home. Sonic, sweetheart, when are you gonna visit your brother? You're just gonna let him rot in jail, aren't you? This one time, I was stranded in the Nevada desert and was picked up by this chick who turned out to be lesbian. I made this joke about how hitchhiking is illegal in Nevada and thought it was pretty clever, but she beat the crap out of me and stole my Kindle. Then she tossed me out the window, but don't worry, I made it to Vegas. Speaking of deserts, I was shopping at Albertsons last month and there was this cardboard cutout of the Taco Time cactus standing between me and four jars of asparagus I had been saving coupons for. And like hell, a sunglasses wearing cactus mascot was going to keep me from my asparagus. So I tried to shove it aside, but accidentally kicked the stand and it knocked me over. I was pinned under that thing for three days because I was too embarrassed to ask anyone for help. I bet me and Robotnik would get along pretty well. We could go to a restaurant and I'd talk the whole time and he'd eat all the chili cheese fries. Then we'd go to the top floor of the Empire State Building and I'd push him down a flight of stairs just to see what happens. And we named that Poodle Shushu. Let me tell you, that dog was a handful. Couldn't keep it on a leash, let alone from darting around the house like someone let go of a balloon filled with claustrophobia. And that stupid goddamn poodle would leave trails of piss and shit in all directions until the house looked like someone had a seizure while holding a shit-filled garden hose. She ruined our freshly cleaned carpet, which we cleaned because of the last time she pissed everywhere like Mentos in a diet piss bottle that was glued to a G-Force simulator all over our freshly cleaned carpet. And that time it was freshly cleaned was not because of Shushu, mind you, but because there was this one Saturday where we all left for Seattle to throw lawnmowers off the Space Needle, and our little parakeet threw a party while we were gone, invited all his crazy bird friends, left a huge mess for us when we got back. There was vodka spilled on the couch, and vomit on the ceiling, cocaine lines on all the shiny surfaces, bird shit everywhere like some kind of Parkinson's paintball tournament, and little teeny beer cans littered all over the place. And the whole time we were scrambling to clean things up, the police were banging on our door. <sighs> it's Henry. Hold on, I have to take this. Henry! What's that? You're holding a beluga whale in your basement. Well, that's a terrible idea. Didn't you have a troop of Russian street performers down there? They were crushed by the whale. Oh. Well, that's a shame. Look, Henry, I'm in the middle of a shit last video, so I'm gonna have to let you go. No, for the last time, I'm keeping the singing Santa. We've been over this, Henry! Goodbye, Henry. I wonder why Sonic never saves any beavers. You'd think he's prejudiced or something. I remember when my uncle tried to start a circus of beavers. He called it Benjamin's Beaver Bonanza. The whole act went south when he gave some of the beavers stilts and the other beavers gnawed them off, and a bunch of beavers falling left and right with that Julius Fuck Gladiator music, and everyone thought it was part of the show at first until the beavers were so pissed they chewed through the legs of the bleachers in a blind rage, causing the stands to collapse, killing 35 people. One of the beavers stabbed my uncle, and on his deathbed he said, I never thought a beaver circus would actually work, but I didn't know the little fuckers had it in for me. Avenge my death. Since that day, I have sworn revenge on all of beaver kind. No, seriously, who the hell is living on South Island? It must be people. Cities like that certainly aren't the work of stupid animals. You gotta admire the way Robotic doesn't consider obesity a problem. He just builds his life around it, makes everything work for him. I always wondered if he would float if he inhaled a bunch of helium. Did I mention I hate these videos? I'm never gonna do this stupid shit again. Ah, fuck!